country is failing on its climate policy objectives. This means that extreme weather will still impact the normal global life and some evil state will also weaponize its outcomes. And when people in the streets of New York and other cities of the world went out on climate protest, we all have seen them. And when people in Morocco and Libya and other countries die as a result of natural disasters, and when islands and countries disappear underwater, and when tornadoes and deserts are spreading into, into new territories, and, when, and focus all our capabilities and energy on addressing these challenges. Electric army tanks. Now, we have these army tanks. No, I just saw this uh, yesterday. They want to build all electric army tanks. The army tanks, the greatest tanks, the Sherman tank, the greatest tanks in the world we built. So now when we go in to obliterate a country with our army tanks, at least we won't pollute it with the pollutants pouring out of the back of the tank. And now they also want to go with a certain type of fuel to uh, we'll cut down about 12 percent on the efficiency of our fighter jets. They want to make our fighter jets uh, very environmentally friendly. So we go into a war, we're over somebody's territory, we're bombing the crap out of them, but at least we're not polluting their air. Do you, are we crazy or what? And the planes, think of this, the planes are 12 percent less efficient. So you got a pilot up there and he's got some guy on his tail. And he said, what the hell happened to my plane? I used to be able to get out of these situations. This plane is not so good anymore. And they're willing, because they don't want to pollute the air over a country that we're in war with. These are brilliant people doing this. They have to, they have to want to destroy our country to do this.